Bien. and have helped myself to the water. What? You don't want that water. There's fresh water in the kitchen. Please, this water is fresh enough. It's just that the pipes are a little rusty. Eh bien. Monsieur, I am filled with love for your daughter. I wish to discuss the matter from every side. We must be very thorough. Of course. Proceed. I am the father. I work in a bank, you know. All the world knows. <laughs> International trade. What is the situation of the Swiss gold franc? What do you think of the Canadian Pacific Railroad? One bank? One bank. Monsieur, it is permitted. As I was explaining, in this bank, I add up the checks, also the coins. The pound sterling, perhaps. Is it expected to rise? The pound sterling. I know nothing of this. I'm a simple clerk. A clerk? Oui, a clerk. I'm unbuttoned. This is another pair of sleeves. How can a clerk afford automobiles, jewels, rare cheeses, trips abroad? Yvonne does not wish such things. Simple things, much better. Small house, flowers, many babies. Many babies? How can a clerk in a small bank give her many babies? It's not the bank that counts in these cases, monsieur. I do not like this kind of music. The salary, what is it? Fifteen dollars a week. Small increase each year until it reaches 22. There, it is stabilized. Stabilized? At 22 dollars? It does not rise beyond this? This is minus insurance. Also deductions for employees, the sick fund, and my mother's allowance, which brings it back to 15 dollars and 28 cents by the time I'm 40. And look where you started. Well, a man's expenses increase with advancement, monsieur. Think of your children! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You must be fed, you must have clothes, you will grow up, you will go to university. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. The best, McGill perhaps, Toronto, Queens, good. But tell me, mon ami, how do you intend to send seven children to the university on $22 a week, stabilized? I'll not send them to the university. It's time they went to work. Work? My grandchildren, work? Tell me, mon ami, why did you have these children if you can't afford to bring them up? It's too big a load for a man to carry. I'll not spend another cent on their education. But what have you done all these years with your money? Do you spend your nights gambling and roistering? While your poor wife now pale and thin waits at home alone? How alone? She has seven children. They're at the university! No, they're out earning a living from their poor old papa. Made all his life in a bank. These are my children. These are my grandchildren. Sacre bleu, they must have an education. Monsieur, I am the father. I will decide. Speak one more word and I'll have no children at all. No children? None. Not one. What has happened to me? What have you done to Alfred? He refuses to have children. He will not send them to the university. Alfred! Come back. Tell us what has happened. Leave me alone. I don't need any of you. I'll have my children myself. And they'll go to work. Watch out! Are you satisfied? You have destroyed the happiness of your only daughter. There goes her best chance. You understand? Her best chance. It's the father's duty to speak with the suitor. No, there are no suitors. And until you find one, you cannot step foot in this house again. Don't worry, Uncle Louis. I'm your friend. Oh, Bibi. Good to hear someone say it. Do you think we should go looking for Alfred and make him come back? Well, even the Royal Mounted Police could find Alfred now. Where, Louis? This time I put my finger in my eye. 
have destroyed the happiness of my daughter. Oh, don't believe that. If the young man loves Yvonne, he will come back when he becomes sober. If he doesn't, he's well, you frightened him away. <laughs> oh, name of a piggy was drunk. It's all the best. Blessing in disguise. Oh, I thought it was someone else. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but he should be along in a minute now. As a matter of fact, Lesmond usually gets home ahead of me. Hello, sweetheart. She blushes. That's a bad sign, eh? That's enough, Jacques. Your brother's changed very much recently. I'm glad. Well, in that case, I'm glad too. If his intentions are serious, I'll be very happy. He's already shown me a picture of his house. It's charming. What house? The house on the Gatineau, with the apple trees. You know, your father's house. Your father's house? Desmond? There is a broken string on my violin. Wait, I Monsieur think... Bonnard. Is there such a house? Well, you know Desmond, I'm sure he has something in mind. Yes, I know Desmond. But I am luckier than the others. What others? The others who believed him. That picture was well worn. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't say anything else. It's not necessary to say any more. It is all very clear. A man who collects gratis as well as her. My dear, we're sorry. We'll speak to Desmond. And when you do, madame, tell him to stay in his own room at night. Jacques, this is serious. What are you going to do about it? I'm very surprised at Desmond. This doesn't sound like him at all. It's not just that. It's all the men in this house. Desmond and Louis and your father. They're not good for Bibi. Bibi? What does Bibi have to do with this? He's growing up. He can't watch these men do the things they do around here and not be affected. But darling, these men are not evil. One drinks, another is young and looks for girls. Another is old and uh, looks for girls. Well, there's no harm in it for Bibi. That he sees them does not mean that he will imitate them. Jack, you're fooling with your child's life. And if anything happens to him, I'll never forgive you. As long as I live. But Susan, please. Susan, wait. Look, it is Rudolf Valentino. A fly with me, fly with me into another dawn. The name of a name, what was that for? That mignonette. Last night, the water. I thought you were being playful, but this is too much. I demand an explanation. Name of a name? Now, why should a woman come off the hinges like that? Bibi, please. Can we dispense with the music? Thank you. 